As we look to the future of infrastructure, we need roadmaps to guide our efforts. With the right tools, we can make better decisions. Avoid blind spots. Learn from innovative practices around the world. Now, more than ever, we need to translate ideas and knowledge into urgent progress. Welcome all to this critical discussion on the future of infrastructure. While we all come from different stakeholders in this conversation, we're all agreed on the need to prioritise our efforts when it comes to infrastructure for good. That is infrastructure that not only has a financial and economic return, but also a social and environmental one as well. With that aim in mind, we are launching a first of its kind infrastructure for good barometer that will benchmark 30 countries when it comes to their infrastructure ecosystems and how effectively they can drive progress by building prosperity with a purpose. So infrastructure is the backbone to a functioning and prosperous society, and it can and it should be a force for good. So tools like the barometer can drive awareness to the wider benefits that infrastructure can deliver to its users, to communities, to economies and to the environment. It can also highlight the urgent need for infrastructure to be sustainable, resilient, work with nature and leaves no one behind. I think that's really interesting, Savina. And I think for me, from an engineering point of view, where this gets really interesting is the point around uh, this tool providing some consistency, I guess, a way of looking across the piece in terms of different indicators, different dynamics, the strengths, the weaknesses in, in one place at one time. And, and I suppose my final thought on it from this point of view is in terms of time and change over time, yes, a tool like this will give us a snapshot, but where I think it gets even more interesting is when you have a look at the change over time. Where are there places that are doing particularly well? Where are places that are going more slow? Why is that? Can we, can we dig into that and understand it a bit more clearly? I think it's really important for countries to be able to look at what else is going on around the world and to be able to benchmark themselves um, and see where they can improve and see where they're, they're best in class. Um, infrastructure is a really long-term agenda and if the barometer is able to help countries in their planning and, and in the justification of these projects, then I think that'll be a great outcome. The use cases will vary depending on the stakeholders. But let me start by talking about policymakers and governments. For policymakers and governments, the barometer will allow them to set their expectations for what infrastructure for good looks like in their countries. But it should also help them to understand the policies, the incentives and the mechanisms to help drive the critical investment into these projects. Projects that will lead to greater inclusion and empowerment for their citizens. Yeah, look, there's no doubt that this is a useful tool for public sector and for governments, but it's also important to note that it's a tool for private sector and for investors as well. Private sector investors are looking to deploy capital um, across geographies and across sectors, and their shareholders are demanding that investments are equitable, sustainable, and have a real social impact. And so the barometer will be a tool that investors can use to determine where they can deploy their capital most efficiently to meet those requirements. Rachel, when you think of use cases for the barometer, what do you see? From the point of view of being part of the, the delivery or the supply chain in terms of the infrastructure, and it, and it really doesn't matter here whether we're talking about transport or water or energy or waste or buildings or digital or any other parts of this vast span of infrastructure we're talking about, the, the point here is the earlier we think about the range of benefits we're looking to seek in terms of outcomes, the more likely those outcomes are to actually happen in practice, the more likely probably the investment is actually to come through in, in practice in any case. But just in general terms, it helps us to make sure we're focusing on the right range of the things that we're actually looking to seek to change. Because of course, infrastructure doesn't exist on its own. It exists as part of a system, right? So, so it's not just about putting down a number of short-term decisions and hoping for the best. It's about actually understanding the implications over decades, even centuries, of those assets being part of that system and influencing our behaviours and so on. So I think for me, that's where this barometer is really useful because it gives us that upstream immediate thought process and it allows us then to make sure that instead of over-focusing on the things we might want to focus on, because there's obviously benefit there, we're actually thinking about the whole range of benefits in the context of that system. So for me, yes, a, a real asset to have something like this in, in practice. Just to pick it up from the perspective of academia and knowledge-based institution and organisation, they have a crucial role to play in the research and development that can then inform policy and spur innovation, but also in, in monitoring and evaluation of progress and impact. 
So the barometer's rich data set can be used to improve our understanding of infrastructure ecosystem across the world. And its holistic set of indicators can not only be used to, be, uh, to track progress, but also analyze to identify patterns and trends and gaps. And with this intelligence, knowledge-based institution and organization can focus their efforts and can design and deliver better research, capacity building, and educational programs. Well, I've learned a lot from this great conversation, and this ties in perfectly with the objective of the barometer. Our goal is to translate ideas and policies and innovation into progress. Through the online barometer, we hope to bring evidence-based insights to citizens, investors, and decision makers about the strengths and weaknesses in their markets when it comes to infrastructure for good, and we can't wait to share it with everyone.